Issues such as soil erosion, overproduction and pollution have all led to the diminished quality of our soils. With soil responsible for supporting 95% of our food production, finding solutions to maintaining it is key to ensuring the world's population is fed. Cranfield University has a 50-year heritage in developing fundamental research that supports the development of innovative food production systems, the reduction of food loss and waste, and agritech. Paul Brennan has more. With an increasing need for sustainable and resilient solutions in food security, Researchers at Cranfield University's Soil Health and Crop Production Facility use the latest technology to address this global challenge. If you think, for example, of where your breakfast came from this morning, 95% of our food originates from soil. So we take the view that soil is so important to ensuring we get food security. But also we're interested in the whole supply chain from field to fork. Um, how we harvest that food and how we then store that food before it gets into the shops. Soil erosion is one of the greatest threats to food production and this rainfall simulation tests the efficacy of different land management treatments to control losses of soil and water. What we're looking at here is the use of innovative phosphorus absorbing materials within filter socks to control sediment, sediment bound pea and soluble pea from agricultural runoff. This fits in very nicely with the government's environment, 25 year environment plan and the Water for Farming initiative. Cranfield is the National Reference Centre for Soils and is linked to the two government-backed agri-tech centres, CHAPS and Agri-EPI. As intensive farming increases globally, this cover crop trial examines how best to replenish overused soil. So we're interested in how the cover crops both protect the soil from rainfall, but we're really interested in the root structure, how those roots are improving soil structure so that we can hold on to water or release water if you've got too much, but also improve soil biology, the organic matter, the organic carbon and so on. Now this impressive piece of kit is called a crop phenotyping sensor platform and what it does through a series of sensors, lasers and cameras is check these crops for disease, for growth and for stress levels and the idea here is to try and create the right conditions for healthy crops. And in the field the research is put into practice. Sergio Marino Rojas is a former graduate of Cranfield. He now works for lettuce grower G's Foods and uses remote sensing technology to reduce crop losses in the field. One of our main disease problems is uh, related with fungal disease called downy mildew, not in salad, just uh, in onions as well. So we can detect that uh, before the naked eye can do it. That will be a very key breakthrough in the industry. So we can tell the grower before they apply any, anything, we can uh, kill that disease and, and protect the, the crop for, for our customers. This knowledge transfer partnership gives growers access to Cranfield's cutting edge facilities and the university in valuable real-world application. We're trying to develop low-cost sensors which they can use across all of their fields, not just a, a, a small subset. And to do that, we're using the facilities at Cranfield in a very controlled environment. But of course, we have to be able to apply that at the large-scale, uh, field-scale operations within the business. Now they're rolling out technology that we've delivered in partnership across all of their lettuce growing, which is delivering real-world results, but also it's, it's changing the way they're managing their crops. Back at the university, Cranfield has one of the largest and best equipped laboratories for post-harvest research in Europe. Groundbreaking technology is used to prolong the life of produce, reduce food waste and the associated costs to create sustainable food systems. The idea behind it is to, to combine uh, non-destructive uh, sensors based on photonics to take uh, better informed decisions on how to use another technique which is control atmosphere and to extend the, the shelf life of apples but not only when we are looking at firmness and sugar which is normally what is been looking at but we want to preserve the taste and the flavour of the apples. By truly understanding how the food supply chain functions, Cranfield University can help farmers and growers achieve more with their land while ensuring a sustainable future for the soil itself.